My friends, welcome back to the Wayward Welshman and the Railways Heritage Trail and specifically the Red Fox Inn in Penlin. Uh, this is the start of section 14 where we're, gonna, where we're in Penlin now and we're going to head north and then a bit further east towards Astrid Darwin. It's another short one just like the last one, only about two and a half miles again but that's a great pub, so if you time it right when that's open, it's always a great place to start. Uh, then we're going to see what we can see along the way through all the farmer fields and into Estra Dowen. So, welcome along, let's, uh, let's have some fun. So yeah, behind me is uh, Salmon Wells, uh, for about 600 years these were the source of drinking water for the Penlin villages, um, and they were so until the 1930s, let me just double check, uh, it says, yeah 1934, so the villages here didn't have uh, piped water until then, so these wells and springs, natural springs were key for drinking water. Incredible. Uh, and then in 1940 they were no longer maintained because they were no longer used. And um, they fell into disuse. And then uh, back in the millennium, 2000, they were restored to be here for a lot longer than they were going to be. Oh, lovely. Great little finds early on on this walk. I'm going to cross the road up that little hill. Those of you that have been following the OS map for your guide on this route, you would notice that the way I've come now towards Salmon as well and then up here into this lovely woodland is not the way marked up on the OS map, but it is the route this uh, shown on my guide from the railways and the waypoint markers have all got the heritage trail sign on there as well so yeah stick to that if you uh, follow the OS you you'd miss the salmon as well which I think is been a quite a bit of a highlight already so quite nice to see something like that um, plus you would have been walking on more country lanes which can be tricky sometimes with fast cars and this, and this lovely walk, uh, walk through the forest. 
Yeah, I see. There's a the footpath just the point. Those purple markers with the M. This is a, the Millennium Heritage Trail. <laughs> you can follow this old track along the field. And I think I can hear a woodpecker. If that's coming up and I'm wrong, if it's coming up on the mic, if, it's, if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. I'll see if I can find it. And I did see it, but it wasn't a woodpecker. I think it was a starling. Yeah. There's a few of them there all there flying around together. I'll get better at it, I promise. <laughs> A bit. You got all the corn feeling, there's bits of corn husk in this, the squirrel's been eating the corn. But it's quite eerie in the woods, very muddy, so he's taking his time anyway. But pheasant screeching, that's a crow, not a pheasant. And I know it's a pheasant in there because you got lots of uh, blue feeding barrels everywhere in the woods. But yeah, down in out of the valley, we're just going to skirt along this hill. Let's go to the east and see what we can find. Got all these uh, long straight roads where we are now, and that is the result of a uh, oh, no, 1862 uh, enclosures of common land. So you've got these nice wide boundaries from the long the roads, but nice and straight as well. It's quite interesting, I thought. But it means that these hedgerows are quite old hedgerows as well. Great for wildlife. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's uh, Ash Hall, which uh, in the late 1800s, so 1866 to 1890s, something like that. Uh, Self-made millionaire David Owen lived there. Uh, he was uh, one of the founders of the Western Mail, which is a, like Wales' national newspaper. There you go. This is the end of uh, section 14. You got the old mot here and the church of St. Owens and here's the root card. Uh, yeah, been a nice walk. Uh, another short one but a lot uh, more hillier than the previous section 13. Um, so it took a little bit longer than the other one did. But still a nice walk and some little steep climbs and wooded and farmlands and country roads. Yeah, I did it all. Fair play. So yeah, this is the old mot. And that's uh, St. Orlines Church. So, let's have a look at the route. So, yeah, started in Penlin. We headed north towards the Salmon Well and then up a farm to Vista Farm. It does get a little bit confusing around here, but follow the, the signs and you should be alright. And then through the woodland, alongside the wood, and we had this lovely open fields all the way along here until we got to the road across the road and then back into another field this field slowly goes uphill until you get to the forest uh, and then you go through the forest which continues uphill and uh, you don't stop going uphill until you get here to the road where you cross the road and follow these those long straight roads that we saw and then by Ash Hall you cut down south through the farm fields behind Ash Hall to the mott and the church in Astrodowen where we are now. So I hope you enjoyed it, lots of lovely views on this one and uh, you can start here for section 15 which I'm going to do or you can, if you wanted to, you can start at the top of the hill at Ash Hall and start there to head north towards Lanhari and then down towards Hensel which is going to be our next section. So thanks for watching, I'll uh, see you on the next one. Au revoir, bye.